This is a video update to my channel and includes the thinkorswim workaround on Apple Silicon icon update. Number one, I've been busy with the death of the family and doing planning for a funeral, burial, and estate disposition is a lot of work, especially from long distance. Number two, I posted a link to the script for the version 6 video in the description section of that video as someone requested it. I usually do scripts for videos over a few minutes and save them in iCloud notes. So that's this video here and I added a link to this to the script that I did the video with. Number three, I picked up a Mac Studio to replace the iMac and the M1 Mini and I'm in the process of setting it up. It's a really strong machine and buttery smooth. I do hope that it can replace both systems. It was a good test of the TOS <coughs> installation and it was just the three easy steps. Number four, I uploaded a new Thinkorswim icon to my website and there's a link to it in the description section. Well, there will be a link to it in the description section when I finish this video. The instructions are the same as the version 6 workaround video. This is just an updated version of the icon. After you click the icon, a terminal window pops up for a second and then you get the Thinkorswim login screen. So you don't have to deal with uh, leaving the terminal window hanging around and then deleting it when you're done. One thing of note is you have to go into terminal settings and change the settings for the default terminal profile to get it to go away like this. The default is to leave it around. The download link is in the description section. So let's go through the process. Uh, we'll click on the, the link, <coughs> downloads it, click on it, and it pops up this icon. You double click this, drag TOS new onto the desktop. Then let's move that. Uh, to run it, we right click open with terminal, and it'll ask you if you want to verify. So we say yes, and it opens it. So I'm just going to kill that. And next time when we double click it, you notice the window, the terminal window was up for a moment and then it popped away. And then it brings up Thinkorswim. One of the things I have to change is um, if you if you want the terminal window to go away, you have to edit one of the profiles. So we go to terminal and click on settings, and then profiles, and you have basic, which is the default. Uh, normally it shows here, but if we go into shell, there's this little setting when the shell exits. By default, it's don't close the window, which is why that thing hangs around. If you want the terminal window to go away automatically, select this entry, close if the shell exited cleanly, and that will take care of getting rid of the terminal window for you. I've been slow in answering questions <coughs> and email, but hope to get back up to speed on that in the next couple days. Uh, we're still doing some of the estate stuff, so I am a bit tired and lagged from that, but um, I'm hoping that life gets back to normal again. So uh, I think that's it. So that's it for this video.